Oh, uh, welcome to another edition of Tribal Mondays. Today, we are playing Jun Zombies. Now, <clears throat> like last week, I mean, I definitely added a green to a, a tribe that normally doesn't play green. I'm doing the exact same thing this week. <laughs> so, instead, this is one of my original brews. Let's see if it actually can compete. Um, four carrying feeders, four champions. Two crit breakers, four blood uh, dreadhorde butchers, four gray crawlers, two headless riders, one uh, jadar, two mayhem devils, two four undead augers. We have three grist, four goblin bombardments, four bolts, two thought seizes. So the mana base we have two cleaves, three crypts, four myers, two tombs, five swamps. Four Verticatacomb, Sideboard, Abrupt Decay, Assassin's Trophy, Two Engineered Explosives, One Culligan's Command, Three Leyline of the Voids, One Maelstrom Pulse to get rid of those stupid um, Artifact Construct Tokens, One Natural State, One Shenanigans, Two Crusaders as a way to get through that Prismatic Ending, and Two More Thought Seizes for Control. So, no further ado, let's see John Zombies in action. Hello, it's your host, CatBG. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Also, the bell notifications. Don't forget to check out the sweet stuff that's down in the description down below. All right, let's get into it. We got, okay, we got, we got, some, we got a good hand. We got a good hand. We could lead off with a swamp. Play carrion feeder ague. We could butcher next turn. We'll see what actually he plays. Um, we have already catacombs. We could get a blood crypt. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Theorem vision. That's abnormal. It's not really played in modern these days. I'm kind of curious. Maybe what I'm facing here. Hopefully it's not. Is it Murktide? All right, play that. Crack that. Get a Blood Crypt. Untapped. Champion of Perished. Grave Crawler. Pop you. Pass the turd. Get him, zombies. Get him. All right, see what he does. We're definitely going to sack something in response if he tries to target... Anything here? Okay, sack himself. Yes, you don't get the privilege of bolting my bird, my threat. No, no, no. Plays an island. Seems reasonable. So, I don't think I grist. I play verticatacombs. Play the butcher. Pop you. Get super frisky. Grow the dork. Pass the turn. We'll get an overgrown tomb. Alright, looks like he's going to pass. He's teamer. Interesting. So we get overgrown tomb. Tapped. Untap. A swamp. Play the swamp. Go to combat, attack you. Is this... No, it can't be Cascade of any kind. Snap, Casta. Alright. A Bolt Snapcaster. Okay, Bolt's my champion. That's fine. Smack you. Uh, play Grist. Uptick Grist. Go. Alright. We are presenting Lethal on board. What do you say about a Grist opponent? Hunt Master of the Fells. Interesting. 
carrion feeder. Okay. That's reasonable. Um So if I do that, there's no way I still can get through. Um, I guess I sack the insect token. Kill him. <coughs> Attack you. That way you can't kill my Dreadhorde Butcher. You can chomp it. I think you kind of have to, don't you? All right. <sighs> Play gr Gray Crawler. Pass the turn. I don't know what the heck he's going to do from here. I mean, we could sack him at any point and deal four damage to him. Snapcaster to get back visions. All right. He's trying to desperately dig for something of relevance here. Classic teamer list. I kind of like it. Maybe I need to brew that. I need to brew a classic teamer list. Um, like the good old days with Tarmogoyf, Snapcaster Mage. Uh, bringing back some old synergies. <laughs> All right. What do you got to say about this? Can you deal with my Dreadhorde Butcher? Uh, Gris doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Mayhem Devil? Go to combat? Attack? He chomps. Takes it. Pop you. Death. Alright, so against Teamer Tempo. Like I said, I, really, I'm, I might actually build that. Thought C's probably in. And all against command, rebuy uh, some threats, maybe. Where are we going down? Bolt seems mediocre. Maybe Butcher. I don't like that. Alright, let's get into it. And this hand is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Plays a tap land. All right. I think I lead off of Thoughtseize. Take. I guess is a charm. That's the turn. So I'm trying to think what I want to do here. Definitely, I mean, he's probably going to play the... Yeah, put that on one. Play that. Crack that. Get Blood Crypt. Play Goblin Bombardment. Pass the turn. So, if you somehow find another land... We can Colgan's command and make him discard. He has another ratchet bomb. Look at him go. Play that crack it. Get an overgrown tune. So. Target player discards a card. Pop that one. Pass the turn. All right. Let's see what he does. Like I said, I definitely think I want to brew a teamer mid range or teamer uh, shell because I just, I just, those are my favorite colors combined. Um, I definitely got to do it. Uh, we will just. Play Augur. Try, I guess, make him do that. Okay. Mm. Gravecrawler. 
pass the turn. <coughs> what do you got? Okay. All right, draw a card. Maybe I should have pinged him with a that, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I basically trying to make it where him putting that on two was just not worth it. All right, white crit breaker. Just trying to get anything out of the opponent. Attack you. A blood cleave? Cleave? Black blood cleave? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Does not side to crack the ratchet bomb. Draws a card, discards a card. Molten Rain. Interesting. Ooze. Okay. Cannot. So first things first. Crip Breaker. A Grist. Go to combat. Attack you. See if he trades. Alright. Minus. The grist. Sacrifice the crawler. Get rid of the ooze. Play the grave crawler. Pass the turn. <coughs> All right, passes. See what he does. Uh, okay, blows up my grist. That's fine. What else do you have? We definitely could tap down our board for all card, which is why we didn't attack with this crit breaker. Okay. Oh, I didn't even do it. Man, I'm bad at this. Alright, so we pitch Grave Crawler. Make a token. Cast a Grave Crawler. Pop you. Okay. What can he do? He could is it charm. Seems logical. <coughs> We're gonna hit with it. You block it. You should. Okay. It's that grave crawler. Cast the grave crawler. Play blood crypt. Stack the grave crawler. Cast a grave crawler. Pass the turn. Okay. So what does he draw? To get out of this. He has a redraw with the lighthouse, but it's gonna take up a lot of his mana. E E on one. Okay. 
seems pretty good. We do have a zombie token, though. So we do that, sack that. Do that, sack that. Do that, sack that. Play Champion of Perished. Play Grave Crawler. Play Grave Crawler. Attack you. Looking pretty solid so far. Uh, we'll play the Grist. Up ticket, make a, yeah, make a threat. Two, three, four, five. We could deal five damage. We are just chilling here. Can't beat the zombies. Jund, Grist. Powerful card. Nice. All right, so we got, we're one and out. Let's get into the next. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> this hand is okay. We only have one color, so one color. We do have a decent start, though. We have Champion of Parish into an auger. Seems reasonable. We'll try it. All right, let's get this zombie content out there. Ah. It's been a while since I played zombies. Cavern of Souls on Beast. Interesting. Grazer, an uncountable grazer. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. So this is definitely amulet. Can we beat Amulet? Ugh. Play Augur. We need a land. Pass the turn. We need a land. We need a land. We can get this Headless Rider down or something. Or this grist, where it should be in a pretty good position to fight the titan. Otherwise, we're in a very bad spot. Very bad. <laughs> but Jukabog. Yep. That's going to be probably pretty relevant in this matchup. Carrion Feeder. Go to combat. Attack you. Pass the turn. We need a land. We need a freaking land, please. Give me that. That would be so wonderful. You probably could play a Dryad this turn or an Azusa. Why wouldn't you? Unless you don't have it, I guess. That's a valid reason not to. Another champion of perished. Grow the dorks. Go to combat. Attack you. Pop it. Pass the turn. How do we beat amulet though? He needs a bit. He needs an amulet though. Actually. So one, two, three, four. If he gets an amulet. Play the bounce land. Well, he might have it. But he needs another. He needs a double land player. Like a Dryad. Like a Zeus or something like that. We need lands. As any of them. Any color. No matter what. We just need to get this Headless Rider down. Because <coughs> that's where the real money is. His land situation is awkward. Extremely awkward. Hmm. 
come on, land off the top would be worth a million dollars right now. Hmm. Blood stain mire. Crack the mire. Oh, about time. Blood crypt. Untapped. Bolt the grazer. Always bolt the grazer. Go to combat. Attack you. All right. We we're trying to race this amulet titan player. Uh, I feel like if we he would have had a, a normal amulet hand, we would have probably lost. <laughs> Just saying. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, he got the mana for a titan. No amulet, though, so he doesn't get to give it haste. And I think he has to block here. Otherwise, he's just dead. He's just dead, I think, across the board, regardless of what he does. I don't think a titan does enough, though. I mean, I love titan, but... Titan on this board state is not very impressive. You get to play the Headless Rider, grow him to trade with the Titan. And he just takes lethal, I think. Three, five. Yeah, he just, how does he beat me? I don't know how he doesn't see it. He had to get Dryad, honestly. Dryad, uh, Radiant Fountain to gain a little bit of life. Seems reasonable, actually. Passes. Headless Rider. Grow the team. Go to combat. Attack you. What do you guys say about the zombies? Hit your face. No matter how he blocks. I mean, he has to block here. Champion of the Perished. Now, all right. Against Amulet, probably Assassin's Trophy. Thought sees to get rid of whatever he can do. Uh, Mayhem Devil's probably just too slow. And we could probably go down to Dreadhorde. Run like that. All right, so we have a one land hand. I don't think we can keep this. Um, if we had a two land hand, this would be pretty solid, actually. Like it. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't care. We're going to try this. We're on the play or on the draw, so. Yeah, I should have brought in some artifact hate. Land, please. Land. Okay. Crack that. Grab. Blood Crypt. Play champion. Uh, go. So, we have bolts. I don't know if we can win through this, though. It might be just a bad keep. Um, We'll find out. If we talk back to land, this will be the greatest hand I think I've ever could have asked for. We get to play double zombie. Make him a 3-3. I got a race with champion. I think that's my only way of winning this matchup. So he's like essential to the game plan. If that is my objective is to beat Amulet, right? A 6-6, six, six, you know, a chunky champion zombie or a grave or carrion feeder is probably the only way I'm going to do it. What? Vesuva taking a basic forest. Huh. Verti catacombs. That's what I'm talking about. So we play for that. Crack it. All right, so we grab a verted catacomb or overgrown tomb. Untapped. Grave crawler. Carrion feeder. Go to combat. Attack you. Pass the truth. 
So now what's my best move? I got a bolt, but I don't think I want to use it. I think I want to put it down to auger. I need to make sure I hit my land drops a little bit. I need to find a payoff for this. This current position. I could just sack Gravecrawler a couple times. Make him at 3-3. Three, three. It's a possibility. Attack for 6. Or attack for more than that. 8. If I draw a untap or another land, I might sack him twice and then bolt. I mean, I definitely need to apply pressure very fast. Summoner's Pact. For Dryad? I need to kill that Dryad. How do I do it, though? Yeah, I think I I just do what I said I'm going to do. Just test for here. Mm-hmm. Can you get prime time this turn? That is the question. Okay. All right. Passes. Grist. Okay, sack that. Go to combat, attack you. <clears throat> All right, pass. At any point, I mean, I, I could sack him, play him again, but he's, he's going to be tapping out for the Summoner's Pact. Okay. So, if he doesn't do anything important, I might just sack him, but otherwise, whatever. I think he might have a shot here. Like I said, I really need to see a land. I need to get rid of this. Um, I need to get rid of this dryad. That would be a huge deal, right? I need to basically... Untap. Play Carrion Feeder. Or Gravecrawler. Attack you. One, two, three, four, five. You might have Titan. All right, hit you for nine. Why the grave crawler? Pass the turn. All right, if he beats us this turn, he wins. Otherwise, I mean, we might have a shot here. Um, actually, I mean, we just need a red source. We have double bolt. Yeah, maybe this hand wasn't worth it. I mean, the hand is fine. It's competing, but. It's just maybe a turn too slow. If we had one more land, we probably would have won by now. Because we would have Crypt Breaker or Dread Horde Butcher. Or probably Gris kill that Dryad. So. Okay, so here comes the Titan. Or does he just win with Dryad? That's a, I mean, that's a possibility, too. I mean, Dryad does just kill us, doesn't he? Because he gets two mountains. That's six damage, plus the Dryad. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we lose. Ugh. I I feel like if we would have drawn that one more land, we would have guaranteed that win. Maybe that over bolt that at least gets amulet. That's always fine too for removal. And that maybe. But then again, we are very we're just going higher on our curve. I don't like that. Alright, let's get into it. We'll keep. 
seems fine, actually. We have land. We have shenanigans. Kind of the controlly shell going on here. All right, play the swamp. Play Fozzies. I guess take the tireless tracker. I go. I got something for the sh the other thing. So whatever. Okay. Passes. Play that. Un crack it. Blood crypt. Untapped. Shenanigans. That has to turn. So, any point that he gets another amulet, we'll just get back shenanigans. <laughs> and we'll just contribute these augers to the board, I guess. So hopefully, hopefully we get a win from here from, with this setup. Ooh. There goes our there goes our shenanigans. We can't have fun, I guess. We'll play that. Play that. Pass the turn. So next turn we get double auger, which isn't the end of the world. So here comes his amulet. What would be our best top deck? So he's played Saga, he's played the amulet. He has Vajugabog on board. Okay. What do you got, opponent? Can this clock win? Hydroid crosses. Interesting. Was not expecting that. Play that. Auger. Auger. Edgy, I guess. What do you gotta say about that? Exit. Pass it. Alright. So this is on the board. He has Bajuga Bog. It's not really pushing that far ahead though. If we can get rid of that amulet, we have we're in business though. We'll definitely attack for six this turn. Whatever we could do to put this game away. Um. Hmm. Five land hand is pretty bad, though, overall. Amulet of vigor. <clears throat> Question is do you have a dryad? I need to get rid of Dryad. Does he attack? Because, I mean, I'm attacking back, regardless. Cross is not really scary. Okay. Play Champion. Prefer to Catacombs. Go to combat. Attack you. Alright, what do you guys say about that? Nothing. Takes it. Pass the turn. Alright, we're just gonna keep smashing face until he dies. And then we'll let him hopefully be a 2-0 with this deck. So far the deck... This is probably the least explosive start we've had yet. We don't have any Gris. We don't have... Summoner's Pact. So, Titan, I assume. Oh, Dryad. Dryad's fine. Not really the end of the world. I think we gotta play another land, though. Okay.
Crack that. Grab an, a blood crypt tapped. So we thin the deck a little bit. Untap. Freaking Bloodstain Meyer? Come on now. <laughs> attack, attack, attack. Oh, we, gotta, we gotta risk it. Our clock window is getting smaller. I mean, if an auger dies, that's, that's great. We get to draw some cards. Crack that. Then the deck some more. Uh, overgrown tomb tapped. Okay. All right. Play that. What's my best bet here? See what he has in hand. All lands. Cool. So. <coughs> okay. Uh, wait a minute. Did he have. The only important land is. Um. So we will destroy an artifact to damage. Pass the turn. There goes Amulet. I think that's our best bet. I don't want to give him more a, sh a shot of drawing the Titan this turn and me being able to play it because he has an Amulet. So I think it's correct to deal with it on our turn so he does not have a shot. To get his way out of this one. Um, I think we're going to be able to pull this out though. Because he basically needs. A way to deal with multiple threats on our side of the board. Alright. Passes. I'm assuming. Unless he tacks with the dryad. Uh, which wouldn't be a terrible move. I guess. <coughs> to... Well, we have seven damage on the back swing. Well, go to combat, attack you, an auger. We get to draw a couple cards. Assassin's trophy. Play crit breaker. Grow the team. Alright, what do I do here? Do I give him another shot? Alright, pass the turn. Let's see what he does. If he has a Titan, then we blow up the Dryad. If I blew up a Garrison or, or a one of those lands, he would have just played another one. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so. Titan doesn't have haste. Right? So what can you do? What can you do, opponent? Yep. Got it. 2-0 and all with the deck. Beat a tier, arguably a tier 1 deck. And yeah, so far, maybe zombies are good. Maybe zombies are good in the current modern meta. It's getting to the next. All right, let's get into the last match. I don't think we can keep this. Uh, one land hand doesn't seem great. This seems fine. All right, this looks like a, it might be a Tron player. Uh, we'll put the auger to the bottom. We'll see. Maybe it was incorrect and put in, should have put a thought seize to the bottom. I don't know. I'm worried if this is definitely Tron, then it's, it's, it looks like Tron to me. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Can we beat Tron? That is the question. This Dreadhorde Butcher can get in there for some chunks at a time. If left alone. But. Alright. Let's see what he does. Turn one Tron land, I assume. Living up to his name. We don't get the thought sees that away. Oi. We're going to play that. Play a thought sees. Take the Ballista. Bastard. Huh. That makes me really wonder, like, what is this? What? Top decks one off the top. He gets his symbols Tron. Wow, wow, wow. All right, Dreadhorde Butcher. Let me get the Headless Rider. I don't know what. I'm assuming I'm facing Green Tron. Hitcha. Grow the Butcher. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think I'm facing Green Tron. Uh, not Eldrazi Tron. Uh, but I could be completely wrong. I mean, why would a Drazi Tron play Sanctum? Let's play that. Untapped. Headless Rider. Pop ya. Next turn I can Thought Seize plus Goblin Bombardment? I don't know if that's actually good, but we'll do it. Hopefully at that point he might have... Ooh. Okay, okay, that's just a redraw. That that hopefully finds something that you can't cast this turn. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. That's not the end of the world. We'll put Grey Crawler down. Uh, Thoughtsies. Okay. Play that. We don't really care about our life total. Because when, Con when Tron beats you, it's just... An overwhelming defeat. Pop you for six past the turn. We get to sack this Gravecrawler if we want to deal an extra damage. And whatever he targets with Karn, if he draws a Karn. So he keeps revealing that he is not finding anything but lands. Alright, I guess we only find lands. So... I think I go to combat, attack you, pop it, grow, sack, yep, zombies, zombies for the win. So, for this matchup, we have that, maybe that, some thought seizes, uh, bolts probably won't make this cut. Uh, Pulse seems fine. What else are we cutting, though? Maybe Mayhem Devil? Yeah, Mayhem Devil. Run it like that. Do land hand? Keep. We keep this. I could. How do I want to start? Um, how do I want to start this? Maybe I carry and feeder. Do I carry and feeder into double spell next turn oh he kept a seven card hand that's petrifying how do i win from here all right play that crack it get a blood crypt thought sees take Liberated. Play Grave Crawler. Go to combat. Attack you. All right. Pass the turn. How do we? Do, how do we do this? I can't actually let that happen. He might have a. Uh... All right. Play Dreadhorde Butcher. Crack that. Get Overgrown Tomb tapped. So maybe that was just a bad keep by the opponent. 
Papia. Pass the turn. Next turn we get to drop down. Maybe Grist. Did he keep a bad hand? He kept a bad hand, didn't he? It'd be funny if you draw an Assassin's Trophy off the top. I would lock this thing up in a heartbeat. I mean, he had serum powder. I guess, yeah, he should save that for next turn. So he gets scrying. Seems pretty good, actually. Oh, I guess he gets stirrings. Yep, seems great. Looking for a land. Finds a tower. Symbols Tron. Plays a powder. Okay, we untap. Maelstrom Pulse. It's not really helpful. So we just aggressed. Uptick. Go to combat. Attack you. Sack an insect. Sack an insect. Pop it. Pass the turn. All right, we got. Oh, we're getting close to lethal here. Here comes Karn. Ugin. Oh no, not Ugin. All right. It's a minus three. Yep. All right, so we sack that. Deal the damage there. Sack that. And then we just sack himself. So that way he doesn't exile it. All right. And dead auger. All right. Pulse it. Pass the turn. Classic pulse. Like the old classic, old school boomer situation going on there. <laughs> could play auger. I really wish I had another land. Or I could auger and bombardment. What do you got? Uh. Do you Karn? Do you what? Do you have a big Karn? A Karn would be a big problem because I would just. Yep, he eats a land. All right. Pass the turn. We need a land. Stupid big Karn. We definitely need to pitch a Goblin Bombardment. Oh my god. Pass the turn. Wow. Platinum Imperium is his win con. Hits us. Take it. I mean, we're dead in one turn. I mean, we could block, but I don't want to. I need to do something this turn. Is that Big Ugin? Walking Ballista. He's another land. Alright. Alright. That's not great. What do we bring in in this matchup? So, I guess Colgan's command. I don't really like that we have to bring these in. Yeah, shenanigans. This isn't worth it. We're not like that. All right, let's get into it. This can be a decently sized fast hand. Uh, okay. I 
I mean, serum visions or serum powder is a way to get around all this. Uh, get good hands, I guess, with, with Tron, that is. How many lands? So he's got rid of. All right, play that. Pass the turn. My best top deck here. Not that, that's for sure. Um, play that. Crack it. Get a blood crypt tapped. Play carrion feeder. Hit you. Pass. Okay. This Colgan's command can deal with an artifact on his side of the board. Outside of that, it's not really impressive. Sure. So if he cracks, he plays on the map. Play the cage. Okay. Play that. Play that. Crack it. Overgrown tomb. Goblin bombardment. Man, pass. All right, so we got about 14. He's not in really any position to be able to go off with Uga in this turn. Scrying. Sure. Play to the land. Okay. If you draw a zombie, that's fine, actually. Hmm. I don't think I can risk it. I gotta just play it safe. Pop the tower. Because I believe I seen it. Yeah, I seen it as an exiled card already. Fine. Okay. Keep him off it as much as I can, because this Colgan's command might be able to get there. I don't know. So if I play this, he becomes four, five. Actually, I might be able to just win with that. Because I get to sack the rider and make a token. Pretty sure that works. Wrist. Alright, so he grows, he grows. I think I have to. Rider. So, six. Sack that. Grow the team and sack that. Hit ya. Lethal. Uh -huh. Three and oh with the deck. GG's opponent. All right. 3-0, let's get into the wrap-up. So what did we learn this week about Jund Zombies for Modern? And uh, I think we did quite well. I think we did quite well. The the green came in handy in the sideboard. Um, we could definitely play something like Endurance or something, but Pulse, I think it's a fine card right now just because of the 
tokens, the construct tokens are everywhere from Urza Saga. Um, we have a little bit of a extra random removal that green adds to this shell. Um, this is pretty good against a, a hammer time, so that's pretty solid. Abrupt Decay, also pretty good against hammer time, as well as, you know, dealing with a Teferi or something. Assassin's Trophy, like in that game, really showed his flexibility to be able to keep him off Tron long enough. So, overall, I thought the sideboard felt pretty solid, actually. Main board, Rider, allowed us to get that last, that last win. We never actually drew Jadar, but overall, the deck functioned. Uh, let me know in the comments what I'm punted on. There definitely could be something. I could have be a little bit more precise against Amulet, even though we beat him. Um, so let me know down in the comments about that. But this deck was awesome. Uh, I do gotta admit, Grist is just a strong card. And I think it's honestly maybe the centerpiece that is needed for the tribes of gold, uh, vampires and zombies to push them to another caliber. Um, Having a good three mana or, uh, Planeswalker that answers other Planeswalkers. And, I mean, with stuff like Gravecrawler. We don't really care about sacrificing Gravecrawler. So, uh, Bombardment put away some games next to Dreadheart Butcher. So, that was pretty fun. So, like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this, this deck. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Also, I forgot to say it. Um, at the beginning of the video, if you love zombies, the tribe as a whole, don't forget to smash the like button because the tribes that get the most likes are going to be the most likely ones that I revisit. So make sure you smash the like button if you like zombies. So until next time, have a great day.